Now remember, homie, that candy goes to... Our fighting men and women overseas. It's our way of letting them know we're having fun back here. No sneaking off and eating that candy yourself. Marge, you know I'd never do that. I'm too scared of the evil Switch Witch. The Switch Witch is me. You know, on some level I've always known. I've got candy, skip to my loo, my insulin will spike, that's what it's gonna do. I'm gonna buy me some diabetic shoes, skip to my loo, my- ah! Oh, dog, dog, what the- Dog, dog, dog! Look! Dog! Hello, 911. I need a helicopter rescue and some cold milk. Copy that, sir. We'll be there in 20 minutes. What? I can't wait that long for candy! Mm. The only sane thing to do is chew off my arm. Oh, ow! Mm. Ow! I'm not gonna swallow, cause I wanna save room for candy. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Don't! Oh. Oh. Mm. Really getting the hang of this. All oh. oh. oh, worth it for candy. <laughs> My name is Mary Alice Young. When you read this morning's paper, you may come across an article about the unusual day I had last week. Normally, there's never anything newsworthy about my life, but that all changed last Thursday. Of course, everything seemed quite normal at first. I made breakfast for my family. I performed my chores. I completed my projects. I ran my errands. In truth, I spent the day as I spent every other day, quietly polishing the routine of my life until it gleamed with perfection. That's why it was so astonishing when I decided to go to my hallway closet and retrieve a revolver that had never been used. The game. They say a person either has what it takes to play, or they don't. Me, on the other hand, I'm kind of screwed. That was amazing. You think you know what you're going to feel like standing over that table, but that was such a high. That's the Nazi? I thought the Nazi would be a Nazi. I can't think of any one reason why I want to be a surgeon. But I can think of a thousand reasons why I should quit. They make it hard on purpose. There comes a moment when it's more than just a game. For anyone who knows Betty, her dreams have always been larger than life. I like your poncho. <laughs> My dad got me one in Guadalajara. Milan, Dolce & Gabbana, fall. Oh. Betty Suarez. Hi, that's me. Her love life looked promising. Betty, can we talk? He wants to marry you? I think he's a catch. I'm in love with someone else. How? I mean, I thought... We. She had great aspirations that could take her places. 
If I do good here, I can go anywhere in the company. I have tons of ideas. All I really want is a chance. You know, I was wondering if you had a quick moment. Do I look like I have a quick moment? She just needed to be noticed. Just try and dress fashionably. Do you have anything? Actually, I do. Oh. My. God. You did before? Huh? Before and after? The photo shoot? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I work here. Killer poncho. Thanks. Time for this go-getter to get her big break. This business is all image. Is that what you want representing you? Uh, I can't fire her. What if she quits? And how do I get her to do that? You beat her down. Can you believe that assistant? This is mode, not dog fancy. So what are you gonna do? Just wait and see. One of our models didn't show up. We really need someone to stand in for her in the wardrobe. Where do you want me? We should keep an eye on that ugly assistant. What's her name? Betty. 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 Betty! You can be for anyone who's ever lost. Nothing I do is good enough. I was trying to show him this one idea. All the stuff you want to do, owning a magazine, doesn't happen for people like us unless you're J-Lo or something. For anyone who's ever won. This career is Betty's dream. I saw the layout you made. I thought it was very smart and beautiful. Good work. Well, the idea was actually... His best one. And for everyone who's found a way back to their dreams. You are an attractive, intelligent, confident businesswoman. This is not a story about forgiveness. When I was a little girl, my understanding of revenge was as simple as two wrongs don't make a right. Do you know how much I love you, Amanda? Infinity. Times infinity. Get a car! When everything you love has been stolen from you, someone has to pay. It's one of the most expensive zip codes in the world. Welcome to the Hamptons. You won't find a better address than this. I'll take it. Their lives are private. Do you think I'm tan enough for my first day on the beach? What you need is another bathing suit. This is practically a burqa. Their community is exclusive. Gray soup boy is kind of cute. That's the tragically privileged Daniel Grayson. Their secrets are shocking. <sighs> And one woman will do whatever it takes. Emily's new to the Hamptons, but she really wants to take part in your fundraiser. To destroy them. Mm, I try to give back as much as I can. Coming to ABC. I'm Daniel. Emily. <laughs> Welcome home, Daniel. I'm off. I'd hate to be on her bad side. Yes, you would. Some forgive. Have Miss Davis escorted off the boat. forget. You're not a part of this. But I can be just as powerful an enemy as any one of them. But all she wants is revenge. To chance meetings. To an unforgettable summer. There are places that make us feel safe. Well, careful, Aria. Take too much and tell us all your secrets. <laughs> Friends share secrets. That's what keeps us close. <laughs> Friendships that make us feel free. But in a moment... Allie? It can all disappear. She's gone. What do you mean she's gone? Look, I heard her scream. I can't believe it's been a year. Did you see the paper today? about Allison every day. From the producers of Gossip Girl, a new ABC Family original series. So I hear the new teacher is really hot. Holy crap. Allison? Somebody left a note in my locker from A. It was personal. 
Only Allison could have known. I think she's playing with us. Now, a voice from the past. If you don't tell her, I will. Reveal secrets of the present. Allison. What's going on? They found your friend. I knew she was back. Emily. They found Allison's body. Tell me what you want to hear. You got messages from A, are we? This is no longer a missing persons investigation. It's a murder. Never trust a pretty girl with an ugly secret. I will find out what happened that summer. Do you think he knows about... No. No, how could he? I'm still here. And I know everything. A. Must be good to be home again, sir. Oh, we'll see about that. Good afternoon. I'm here to see Assistant Director Harold Cooper. Tell him it's Raymond Reddington. It really is him. You must have many questions. So let's begin with the most important one. Why I'm here. One man, his name is Ronco Zamani. You want him. I want him. So let's say our interests are aligned. From this point forward, there's one very important rule. I speak only with Elizabeth Keene. Who the hell's Elizabeth Keene? Agent Keene! Donald Wrestler, they need you to come with me right away. So can you tell us what's going on? Nothing. I have no history with Reddington. They tell me today's your first day as a profiler. Congratulations. Agent Keene, what a pleasure. Well, I'm here. Why involve me? I'm nobody. It's nothing special about me. You're very special. I'm going to make you famous, Lizzie. Within the hour, Ronco Zamani will abduct the daughter of U.S. General Daniel Riker. Don't be scared. I just need you to come with me. Do you want to call your daddy? Yeah, I want to tell him I'm okay. Okay. And I'm supposed to believe you. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> I'm a criminal. I told you Zimani would take the girl. This is in your hands now. I need your help. How about a trade? You won't find the girl until you learn to look at this differently. And how should I look at this? Shall I show you? Make it personal. So what does he desperately want? He wants revenge. Where is Zimani? If I tell you, you have to give me something in return. You think we're going to put you up at the Sheridan? <laughs> the Sheridan's not my scene. Sit down. You figured out my plan to take the general's daughter. What else do you know? It's gonna be okay. But then... <laughs> I'll keep quiet. You won't even know I'm... Why the hell was he in my house? Calm down. Tell me what happened. Don't play stupid. Your husband doesn't matter. Zamani did you a favor. You'll never know I hit you. Now, you tell me how I find Zamani and make this right, or I let you die right here. Yeah. Just another day in the city. Life. He's gone. He's on the move. Heading westbound. Zamani wants more than the general's daughter. Where are you? My friend. He's on his way. Can you stop so the bomb? You breathe, girl. Ужасно. Wait. What are you doing? Спасибо. Наслаждайся. Daddy. You're gonna make a great team. Well, this was fun. Let's do it again. Understand Zamani was only the first. The first what? Name. On the list. What list? The list I've been cultivating for over 20 years. I'm talking about the criminals who matter. The ones you can't find because you don't even know they exist. Let's call it the blacklist. That sounds exciting.
Chanel jacket that doesn't quite fit in. That's me, Dr. Zoe Hart. Yesterday, I took a cab to my job at one of Manhattan's best hospitals. Today, I'm on a bus in the middle of nowhere. But I guess my journey really began four years ago, when I gave the commencement address at my medical school graduation. The first time I held the scalpel, I was nine. My publicist mother complained that I didn't thank her enough in my speech. My dad and I snuck off and but there was somebody in the crowd who liked it. Dr. Hart? Quite a speech. Thank you. My name is Dr. Harley Wilkes. I'm from Bluebell, Alabama. I have a small private practice there. It's a great town, great people, and a great place for a young doctor to hone her craft. I'd like to offer you a job. Thanks, that's really flattering. But I have a plan. After I finish my surgical residency, I'll do a fellowship in thoracics. Then I'll go on to become a cardiothoracic surgeon like my dad. Our last name's Hart, so it's predestined. Your offer is really sweet. Thanks, O. Bye. My mother never wanted me to be a surgeon. Congratulations. She thought the fluorescent lights would give me wrinkles. I know you'll be happy following in your father's footsteps. Can't help but notice he didn't make it. I know that must be disappointing for you, but that's your father, always thinking about himself. He wanted to be here, but he couldn't get out of Germany. Some diplomat needed a pacemaker put in. Is that Katie Kirk? Katie? Despite mom's support, I had it all. The most amazing boyfriend who got what it was like to be a surgeon, too. The best part was, we both were going to do our residencies in the hospital where my dad did his, in the best city in the world, New York. My plan was on track. Well, it's four years later, and you know I wouldn't be sitting next to a guy who smells like fake cheese and chum if it had turned out like I hoped. What's up, everyone? I'm back! I brought bagels. Monday, October 7th, it's the season premiere of Heart of Dixie. Terrible news. Brace yourself. Zoe Hart is back. The prodigal doctor returns to Bluebell, Alabama, and all its southern hospitality. Welcome back, but no one likes you anymore. It's nice to see you. I mean, screw you, Zoe Hart. I continue to hate you. And here I was afraid that everything had changed. This is not going to happen. George? Can I get another drink capable of erasing two years of pain? But there's something about Bluebell that's hard to let go. What if Bluebell is real and New York is a rest stop? I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy, too. She does not get to break your heart and then waltz off into the sunset. Wade has a new girlfriend. Seriously? Who? Well, have a seat at your back. Heart of Dixie, season premiere. Monday, October 7th, it's the season premiere of Heart of Dixie. Terrible news. Brace yourself. Zoe Hart is back. The prodigal doctor returns to Bluebell, Alabama, and all its southern hospitality. Welcome back, but no one likes you anymore. It's nice to see you. I mean, screw you, Zoe Hart. I continue to hate you. And here I was afraid that everything had changed. This is not going to happen. George? Can I get another drink capable of erasing two years of pain? But there's something about Bluebell that's hard to let go. What if Bluebell is real and New York is a rest stop? I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy, too. She does not get to break your heart and then waltz off into the sunset. Wade has a new girlfriend. Seriously? Who? Well, have a seat at your back. Deb always wanted to be somebody. A prize model on The Price is Right is a career. But heaven had other plans. <laughs> now she's back. Why do I feel bloated? As somebody else. Your name is Jane. This doesn't work for me. You're my guardian angel. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Okay, make me skinny and hot. I'm an angel, not a wizard. She may be living someone else's life. He didn't kiss me. I kissed him. Awesome. Was there tongue? I gotta update my blog. But she's learning all about herself. I'm smart. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this. I'm ticklish. Drop dead diva. Oh, I have to lose like three major pounds. Please don't make me kill you. Do you even own a mirror? I want to stab her with her Jimmy Choo. For 15 years, I fantasized about everyone noticing me. And for the first time since I got my braces off, I didn't feel invisible. 
This year would be my year. For once, I wouldn't be overlooked. You are the of J-Town. But nobody can know that I like you. Sometimes being a teenager makes you want to die. Guys like Maddie don't go for girls like us. That was hardcore humiliation. This came in the mail for you. Sweetie, I'm not paying Dominique to do your hair anymore if you're not gonna style it. Jenna, as you are now, you could disappear and no one would notice. Stop being such a pussy. A friend? That's gonna take me away. Whoever wrote that letter didn't pull any punches. It was the truth, and the truth hurt. <laughs> Did she exhibit any warning signs? My daughter is suicidal. I can't even imagine what she was feeling when she wrote that note. It was a misunderstanding of epic proportions. So, Jenna, tell me, how did it make you feel when you read the letter? Crappy. Considering your recent accident. Ah. Uh, I didn't try to kill myself. You weren't planning to ingest these, were you? They're breath mints. So they are. So hot. The loser wants us to talk about her. That's why she did it. It was a pathetic ploy for attention. She should go to church. That girl? That girl. I heard when they pumped that girl's stomach, they found like... Pop rocks and coke. Yeah, she was huffing spray paint. 700 pills. What kind of pills? What is the fascination with me? Like a bad car crash on the side of the road? Everyone wants a peek. Who's ready to rally? Being that girl was my new identity. One more but I won't let it define me. Girl. Your meds are malfunctioning. Everyone's gonna stare. I might as well go on stage. Our contestants will now change into each other's clothes. The team that gets dressed first will win. We're in it to win. Go! Yes, you in the back. I'm not raising my hand. Hey, you have some serious backbone. So Which is about the only thing not broken on me. Babe, you gonna grab Froyo? Just go without me. Things were looking up. Besides my arm.